What's up, Pisces? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tawny Michelle, and let's get into your November 2021 tarot and astrology reading. This can resonate if you are a Pisces rising, especially, but the tarot reading may resonate with you if you're a Pisces sun or moon, so keep that in mind. So, November is a very, very crazy and hectic month full of surprises and unexpectedness and just a general sense of possibly being unprepared for some of the shifts that may happen or a general sense of feeling restless, okay? And Pisces, for you, there could be something really going on in your life, like your worldviews, your beliefs, education, learning, travel, like the big picture kind of stuff about your life, your future, where you want to be, where you want to end up, where you feel like the general purpose for your life is headed or the general direction of your life is headed. This could be really on your, on your mind in the month of November. You could really be focused on some big picture stuff. And this could be, this big picture stuff could somehow end up disrupting your day-to-day, -day, you know, more, <laughs> more reality-based stuff. This is a month where you're really going to be noticing kind of this contrast or this push and pull between big picture versus right here, right now. This could really be also a month of distractions and really showing you where you're putting your focus and where you're putting your energy. This could also be a month where you are resistant to some kind of change that you feel is happening or that you know is coming or that you're focusing on, like a certain level of not wanting to accept something or not wanting to let something go. There could also be a lot of things that are dug up in terms of resentments that I'm also seeing here in your cards. And another big theme I'm seeing for you in the month of November is forgiveness. So, and a lot of this is happening because we have a lot in Scorpio. We have Mars, the ruler of Scorpio and Scorpio. And Scorpio is your ninth house of big picture stuff. Like, what do you want to do in your future? Where are you going? Where's your path? Where do you feel like your purpose is? What do you need to learn in order to get there? What do you need to experience in order to get there? It's like big picture, futuristic kind of stuff versus Uranus in your third house and Taurus of right here, right now, what needs to be done on a day-to-day -day basis. The third house can also roll over your siblings, relatives, short travels, and kind of general movement in your day-to-day -day life and general interactions in your day-to-day -day life, errands you want run, environments and places that you frequent, etc. So these themes are going to be very, very big for you in the month of November. I see that some of you guys could be planning on moving. Um, it could be something kind of sudden or something, there could be like a certain level of unpredictability to it or a certain level of like it feeling kind of unexpected or random, or it could just feel like, um, like you're not prepared in some way. Um, I also see that some of you guys could be like going on a short trip unexpectedly or, you know, doing something with travel or whether short or long travel, or it could be something coming up like with your car, you know what I mean? On like a, a, a really small scale, basically, because there's a lot of movement cards here. It's like you're trying to move forward with something but something is holding you back and it could be some kind of subconscious obligation, responsibility block that is hindering you from moving forward in your life. Now, on top of all of that, I know it doesn't seem like, you know, the best time ever, but there is a general sense of excitement to it. There is a general sense of excitement and liberation to the month of November. And so anything that happens could somehow give you some kind of unexpected liberation from something that was holding you back or that kind of felt like a blockage in some way, shape, or form. Now, November is <laughs> November is a time where you're going to really want to be aware, okay? Because we have the card of awareness here. And Pisces, you're not like a sign that I would put at the top of the list for November being... Uh, like one of the craziest months for it's a crazy month in general, but there's other signs that it's hitting harder than you uh, than you so I don't think it's something that's you know It may not be as intense, 
uh, for you unless you have uh, obviously that's going to depend on your own personal chart uh, but basically just Pisces risings in general depending on your own chart may not feel November as much as some other signs so but we do have the wizard of awareness here and so I feel like your awareness this month is going to be in a, like you're going to be very it's going to be called into question in some way or it's going to be coming up in some way what are you putting your energy into what are you focusing on and what are your intentions here because there could be a lot of hidden intentions coming up with you and with you know you could not be in alignment basically with what you're intending and what you're doing uh what you are putting your awareness into versus what you're actually doing right and that's what i was saying with this third ninth house axis it's like there may be a lot of things pulling your focus towards big picture stuff, the world, what's going on in the world, your beliefs about that, you know, your worldviews, all of these different things. But there also may be a general sense of, okay, well, are you neglecting the right here, right now? And how is, and, and is that actually like causing issues for you in some way, you know? How can you align your day-to-day -day life with your long-term goals, beliefs, the things that you wanna manifest in the long-term, the things that you wanna do in the long-term with what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, basically. We also have the card movement, and we even have the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands kind of, you know, validating that here and so it does seem like there is some kind of movement for you in the month of november there's some kind of need to move forward with something or maybe even move on from something to you know the knight of wands can also be kind of like an instigation or a change in some way um so there could be some kind of shift that you are going through in the month of November or that you're instigating or that someone else is instigating. Now we also have storm field. So this can definitely tell me that there could be, you know, some definitely some kind of change uh, that can sometimes feel unexpected or chaotic or out of your control um, that you're trying to balance because right after that we have the balancing act. And so it's like there is some kind of situation that may seem a little bit chaotic or a little bit out of your control that you're trying to kind of harmonize in some way or balance out. And then we also have the temperance card here kind of verifying that. So it seems to me that you're trying to keep a situation together to avoid this storm field card. But at the same time, it's coming apart regardless because we have the card coming apart here. Now, this could be a friendship, a relationship, uh, you know, a connection, uh, a job, a living situation. It could be different things for a lot of you, but um, there's something here that is kind of like trying to come apart, but you're trying to somehow harmonize it or keep it together. Um, and it's and it could be something within yourself too. You know, it could be you feeling kind of like out of alignment or like, you know, like I was saying before, this contrast, these two polarities that are feeling a little bit out of alignment to where you're not really 100% in your authentic energy right now. You're not really 100% in your truth. And that's another big thing this month, Pisces. November could have a lot to do with speaking your truth. And we also have the Queen of Swords here. Queen of Swords is definitely about speaking your truth, being direct, independence, right? Like she does not need anybody else to tell her how to think or to tell her what her opinions are or uh, is worried about what anybody else thinks about what she thinks or what she says. So this is a month where you could find yourself really needing to speak up about something, to speak some type kind of truth. And it's going to be like very confronting for you because this whatever this is, is going to kind of put you in a position to confront certain fears or certain blockages with Saturn in your 12th that you have, right? Certain past situations, limitations, restrictions that have kept you from expressing yourself in a way that feels authentic to who you are. And so this is a month that you know, you may need to rock the boat a little bit, right? You may need to be kind of the instigator, 
that may be what's best. What's best is going to be to be gentle with yourself, to take care of yourself, to um, make sure that you are okay. The gentle gardener here, it's like doing the small things that are going to pay off, but that need to be done that we know need to be done in order to take care of ourselves, in order for us to grow and evolve. And then we also have the card home here, which like I was saying, I feel like there could be something going on with a move or like switching environments or, you know, states, towns, whatever in some way. For some of you, it could be a really big move. For some of you, it could be a small move. Um, there could also be things coming up within the family. You know, the Gemini North Node has been in your fourth house now for almost 18 months it'll be moving out soon and so you are really kind of tying up a lot of karmic stuff and faded stuff when it comes to your home your family your place of living your childhood your roots your foundation and so this could you know it's been kind of pulling you out of the spotlight pulling you out of you know career and reputation your professional life and kind of pushing you to focus more on your home your roots your foundation and these last couple of months that the nodes are in gemini and sag you're really going to see that be even more of a thing you know that's going to be very very big so so let's move on to your tarot cards we start off with the judgment cards you actually have a lot of major arcana which tells me that even though astrologically this month doesn't seem to be sit hitting your sign like super hard that there still can be a lot of major changes that happen or a lot of very profound changes that happen for you pisces so we have the judgment card so this is telling me and also right after that the five of wands so this is telling me that there may be, you know, this is kind of like a reckoning. This is kind of like coming into some kind of liberation with your truth, realigning with your truth in some way, even if that means it's going to upset other people, uh, even if that means other people may not like it or whatever the case may be, you know what I mean? Um, even if that means that it may put you in a situation with somebody else that, you know, you've been trying to avoid, you know, because right after this, we have the Queen of Swords. So this tells me, this verifies this even more. It's time to speak up about something. It's time to express your truth in some way, uh, even if that makes people agitated, frustrated, angry. And really, if they truly love you, right? Like, I think that they, I would think that they would want to they would want you to speak your truth. If they truly cared about your well-being, I would think that they would want you to claim your independence, to speak your truth, to be in alignment with who you are, to practice self-love, which in itself means to speak your truth, to be honest about who you are and how you're feeling and all of that and not deny a part of your truth or your reality just to please them. And so this is really big, you know? I also am kind of getting like redemption or forgiveness, like, you know, you by somehow you speaking your truth, this is going to help you kind of with some kind of forgiveness or with some kind of like, it's kind of like a, a full circle moment is kind of what I'm getting here. So, and then after that, how beautiful he have the full card uh, with the Ace of Wands. And so this is a new energy coming in, a brand new energy coming in where, you know, you are able to move forward you are able to uh you know really kind of start something new you're really you're like starting with a fresh slate so to say right like you are really kind of coming out with a bang it's like yes like i feel free i feel liberated i feel like a, a weight has been lifted off my shoulders and this is going to inspire you right this is very very inspirational energy this is really feeling like you've gotten that spark back like almost like you've came back to life in some way from being able to get something off your chest so uh and then after that we have the six of wands which is beautiful success you know what i mean and uh but i feel like because before that we have the hermit and so i feel like you're going to be feeling successful but part of that success is also you being able to remove yourself from certain situations to check in with yourself, to make sure that you're in alignment with yourself, temperance, to walk the talk, right? So you did the talk and now it's walking the talk. 
right? So I think like the second part of your month is going to be walking the talk. It's like, okay, I've figured out my truth. I've spoken my truth. I've expressed my truth or I've accepted my truth, whatever the case may be. I see the direction I need to go, but now I need to actually go that direction, right? I need to actually make sure that I'm in alignment with myself. I need to actually make sure that I'm in harmony with myself and that I'm doing things that are not going to like make me feel like I'm coming apart again. I need to compromise within myself. I need to come into harmony within myself and to balance within myself. So then we also have the uh, Prince of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Like I was saying, it seems like you could be instigating some kind of movement or there could be some kind of change that pushes you in a new direction and the change could be everything else that happens before this you know that could lead up to this change but it does seem like you are like going somewhere or at least at the very least going in a new direction or feeling like you're finally moving forward after something in some way which is really beautiful and so i kind of see like a lot of closure this month for you pisces i see you really getting things off your chest, really coming more into alignment with who you are rather than rejecting a part of who you are, denying a part of your reality because, you know, it may be scary for you in some way or it may shake up, shake up people's feathers in some way. It's kind of like you're finally getting something off your chest. You're finally liberating yourself from something that's been heavy for you and then moving forward, which is really awesome. So that is what I'm seeing for you, Pisces, basically. Um, on the fourth, we have a new moon in Scorpio, uh, and this could be a time that really ushers in or starts rippling into this kind of change that needs to happen within you or within your life in some way. Uh, we also, you know, the, the first part of the month, the first couple of weeks are where the intensity, the intensity is going to be uh, probably like at its peak with Mars square Saturn, uh, which is your 12th and 9th house. And so it could be bringing up a lot of subconscious belief systems or, you know, things that have been holding you back subconsciously, self-sabotaging behaviors that need to be addressed, right? Like that you need a different perspective on, that you need to, it's like really pulling you out of your comfort zone in some way. Um, so that's really what's kind of happening the first couple weeks. And then the last couple weeks, we finally get into more of that Uranian energy. So like mid-month to the end of the month, we really start getting into that Uranian energy, which could bring a lot of unexpectedness, but also liberation, restlessness, impulsivity, um, you know, vibes of freedom and independence and all of that. So we could really be seeing that come up uh, the last few weeks and you could be seeing that come up in terms of your mind, speaking, your environment, your location, um, those kinds of things. So that is what I have for you, Pisces. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Definitely do me a favor and let me know down below if this ends up resonating with you for the month of November, uh, even feel free to come back and let me know. Like I'm truly invested and want to know your experiences. Even if it didn't happen, I'd love to know uh, what does happen. Um, just because the astrology this month is crazy and I love to hear your guys' experiences and how they correlate with the astrology or how they may even correlate outside of how I've interpreted it. So anyways, but I hope you guys have a liberating month and I will see you guys in my other videos. Thank you.